The Creative Energy Homes are a series of dwellings that we have constructed at the University of Nottingham to show how we can move society towards a zero carbon future. Housing in the UK is responsible for over a quarter of energy use and CO2 emissions, so it's a big contributor to some of the big environmental issues that we have at the moment. So we need to develop solutions that allow us to build near zero energy homes in an affordable way. Creative Energy Homes is a research and educational showcase of sustainable housing. And this goes back to our first project with David Wilson Homes back in 2000s, but since then we've developed another six homes as trial test beds as a live project here on University Park. So the great thing is that we're, we're, we're based here in the Department of Architecture and Built Environment, but energy is one of the core research themes within the University of Nottingham. So it's very much a, an interdisciplinary project that involves multiple skills from across the, the energy research sector within the University of Nottingham. So Creative Energy Homes has largely been funded by industry who have come to us um, seeking solutions for low carbon, near zero energy housing solutions. So we've got some of the first zero carbon that were code level six homes here in the country. So one of them is the, the home next door to us here that was actually designed by our students, constructed by our students, and it's actually been built in London, Madrid, and now back in Nottingham. It's one of the most energy efficient homes in the country. Right from the planning stage, we wanted to do a number of things. We wanted to have different construction methods, and then within those homes, we have a range of different technologies to provide and utilize energy. I think that's one of the unique things about Creative Energy Homes is, although three of the homes are our living laboratories that are used for our research projects, four of them actually have families living in them. So we get real data. So my research aims to address levels of uncertainty around how people use the buildings. So occupancy rates and behaviours within the building. We've got a network of wireless environmental sensors um, in the house and I'm also using mobile device detection. I'm using the data collected in these houses to track occupancy rates in specific rooms in the houses and try and build up a picture of how occupants are using the spaces and then I'm relating this to the energy uses in the building, trying to identify where energy might be being wasted by the control systems and then building more intelligence into the control systems to respond to how occupants actually need the energy to be used. So this is directly informing um, people, whether it be the general public or industry partners that we're working with to utilise this type of work in their own development. Blueprint are a sustainable developer and um, we've been working with them for many years and now looking at how we can transfer some of the work we've done here on community energy projects and take that learning and put it into the real world with, with their developments. So before we embrace a new technology, a new idea, we really would like to see it in modelled in practice, we'd like to see the hard data about the performance. And one of the advantages of our relationship with the university is that we can see these demonstrator projects before we make some pretty big decisions about embracing you know, a particular idea, a particular innovation. The great thing is that it's incredibly enjoyable working on something that you feel has a real-world impact in terms of the research that we do and we need solutions that are cost-effective, that work in practice, that we can deliver in the real world to meet those targets. We also need a generation of engineers and architects that can go out from universities and deliver it in practice. I mean it's incredibly exciting, you know, you're pushing the boundaries. 